In this tutorial, I'd like to show you Hawaii Color from Tokyo Productions and Lawn Road. Hawaii Color is a groundbreaking, fully featured primary color grading effect. Hawaii Color was created exclusively for Final Cut Pro 10. You can find it in the effects browser under Hawaii Color. There are three effects included. Hawaii Color offers the effect with the grading guide enabled. Hawaii Color Full Screen offers the full screen overlay version with the grading guide disabled. Grade for more experienced users who know their way around the controls, as you can grade without the overlay impacting the scopes. And Hawaii Color SD will automatically detect whether your clip is 4x3 or 16x9 and change the interface accordingly. You can also find the same three effects in the Titles browser for global grading of multiple clips at the same time. I'll drag Hawaii Color to my first clip. The first thing you'll notice are the extensive on-screen controls that appear. At the bottom are three very large color wheels, familiar to you if you've done any color correcting in a three-way color corrector or in a color grading application. They control the color balance in the shadows, the mids, and the highlights. The other four controls are sections to adjust temperature, exposure, saturation, and additional picture effects. Let's begin color correcting the shot. With any color grading, it's always best to have some scopes open for reference. I like the RGB Parade because it tells me what's going on with both color balance and brightness and contrast. While you're grading, you can use the various controls and the parameters to toggle the UI on and off and see the full picture represented in the scopes. Or if you prefer, use Hawaii Color Full Screen, where the overlay guides will have no impact on the scopes. Once you're familiar with using the effect, you'll probably prefer to work in this mode all the time. At any time, you may unhighlight the effect header to remove the on-screen controls, or toggle the on-screen controls checkbox in the parameters. Temperature sliders control the white balance in the lows, mids, highlights, or globally. While adjusting the slider, when you hit Command, click and drag, a number display appears with the value of your adjustment. As with any of the FX Factory on-screen controls in Final Cut Pro 10, you can option click to reset any value. The exposure section has similar sliders for lows, mids, highlights, and global. I'll make adjustments to the contrast by adjusting the mid, low, and highlight sliders. I always keep an eye on the scopes to make sure I'm not overdoing anything. There is a one slider contrast control on the top right, which is a great quick fix as well. This shot is pretty well balanced, but I'll push the lows toward the blue section of the color wheel and push the mids to the warm yellow orange on its color wheel to add a little color contrast. The top right section includes sliders for hue, contrast, blurring, and sharpening. I'll add a little bit of sharpening to this clip to make it pop. On the bottom right, we have saturation controls for the lows, mids, highlights, and global. I'll add a little bit of saturation to the mids, but I'll be careful not to overdo it. Over in the parameters, the saturation, sharpness, blur, and contrast sliders have more granular controls if you'd like to only adjust them in the lows, the mids, or the highlights, as opposed to just a global correction. The on-screen controls in this effect are so good that you probably won't spend a lot of time in the parameters but I'll point out a few great features there. You can check or uncheck the Bypass Grade box to see your original clip. The View drop-down menu gives you great ways to compare your grade to your original image. Source, Grade, Two Up, Vertical Split, Horizontal Split, Diagonal Split. Use the Dim drop-down to dim certain aspects of the interface. Finally, I'll check the Legalize box to make sure everything is broadcast legal, and then the Commit Grade box. I can toggle the Bypass Grade button on and off to check before and after. I recommend leaving Legalize off until you're finished grading the clip, because it's generally better to get your highs and lows in check before clipping them with a brick wall Legalize function. Hawaii Color is a groundbreaking effect that will really change the way you color correct your clips. FX Factory offers a huge selection of great effects, and if you don't have them yet, I suggest you go try them out at fxfactory.com.